Hi, this is Tom Vineski with the Times Leader. I'm here with Rick Koval of the North Branch Land Trust. And we have species number eight of our herb search, eight out of 31 so far. It's moving up, aren't Yeah, yeah, we got uh, several here today at the American Legion property, which is preserved by the North Branch Land Trust. And this is an American toad. Uh, Rick, what, do you, what can you tell us about this? Well, the American toad is a very common frog species and we have several types. We have two types of toads and the more uncommon one's called Fowler's toad. But this is the American toad. This is one that you'll see far away from water hopping uh, in your garden. You'll see it in the garden. You'll see it on the roads, on a highway, you know, uh, on a rainy night. You'll see it in ponds and wetlands. But right now you're going to hear them breeding. Toads and frogs, they have calls and usually it's the male that sings or calls to attract the female to their breeding pools or breeding wetlands. And since this American toad is quite unattractive with warts and female toes kind of look the same way. There's no way that they could tell if it's a male or female. And so one of the ways is what they do with it, what the American toad does is called a release call. When another toad latches on top of the male toad on another male, they'll start chirping and vibrating. It's like a cell phone on vibrate. And that tells the other male toad to back off at he's not a female to go find a female. And when he latches onto another toad that doesn't do this release call and vibration, then they'll mate. So the American toads are very common throughout Pennsylvania, one of our most common land frogs, I guess, is, if you will. They're not really entirely aquatic. They like, to, uh, they like to hunt in the forest and dry areas, sometimes sandy soils. It's a great consumer of insects, so it's a very beneficial amphibian. And uh, if you have one or two or three or four or five of these in your garden, welcome them and, and, and don't take them away and release them because they, they consume a lot of insects from carpenter ants to beetle larvae to uh, ladybug beetle larvae, the things that really, really harm your garden and your, and your crops and your flowers. <laughs> Boy, it's not Snow Michael Phelps, is it? But it's doing its best. 